To meet James' impossible demands, I'm going to be making Screaming Gun from Borderlands 2. I'm Bogdan. Beat the devil out of him. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, that feels amazing. This video has been sponsored by Keeps. Hey Charles, got a minute? Yeah, sure. We gotta get you started on your next big project. Do you have a pen and paper? Basically, I'm looking to have something that can help, you know, raise the spirits around the shop. It should be colorful, but not too tacky, not too bright, earth tone, uh, but not muddy or, or drab. Handheld, but not small. It should have good weight, but not too heavy. Definitely not light and cheap feeling, you know? I want to be able to destroy stuff, but it also has to be safe and not capable of causing serious injury or anything like that. I want to be able to communicate with people. I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross and Pulp Fiction lately, so try and work that in. And I'd like to stop doing outros and videos altogether. I figure that's it. Five days? F five, five days? Five days to what? To build it. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Awesome. Get to it. I've got it. To meet James' impossible demands, I'm gonna be making Screaming Gun from Borderlands 2. So here's the plan. I'm gonna take this Nerf gun and I'm gonna add a microcontroller, some switches, speaker, and a headphone jack so that when you fire it, reload it, or shake it, it plays a noise. Then to top it all off, it's gonna get a sweet paint job and we're gonna make a professional looking package that we can give it to James. First things first, I have to take it apart. I'll remove all the screws and then split it into its two halves. Then I can drill the holes so I can mount all the electronics later. Once that's done, I'll hand it off to Chris for that sweet Borderlands-esque paint job. To make the gun scream, I'm going to be using a Teensy 3.5 microcontroller to read sounds off an SD card and play them back in response to input. That's going to get amplified by a PJRC prop shield, which also has an accelerometer on it that we're going to monitor to see when the gun's being shaken. To turn the whole thing on and off, we have a rotary switch, which is going to stick out the side and give us a nice big clunky on-off. To figure out which voice pack we should be using, there's a rotary encoder, which gives us 16 positions to put voices in. To let us trigger the sounds, we have this big shiny button. And finally, to actually make the noise, there's going to be a loudspeaker hidden in the stock of the gun. That's all the parts, it's soldering time. If you want to look at the electronic schematic diagram, check the description below. Now that the electronics are all done, let's go check on the paint shop. Nice! Hey guys, it's Owen. My job for this build is to make the gun look like we just got it off the shelf at a toy store. To do so, I'm gonna be making some commercial looking packaging in Photoshop. Let me show you my process. First things first, the background. Our very own hack logo. Now we just need to cut James out so we can use him as the model for the box. This looks better than I expected. Couple details about the gun. I love how this is turning out. For the next step, I have to make the microcontroller do what we want when we want it to. The code's actually pretty easy. It listens to the trigger switch and the reload switch. When it receives either of those signals, it checks the selector knob to figure out what voice pack it should be using and plays the correct sound. It also pulls the accelerometer, and when the acceleration exceeds a certain threshold, it plays another noise. So that means when you shake it, it screams. Actually, we all know I've already programmed it, and nobody likes watching coding montages, so let's skip to the good bit. With the code all done, we can add the voice packs onto the SD card straight into the microcontroller. We've got a whole bunch of different voices available of characters you know and love. Even Bogdan. This is what a gun sounds like. Let me show you its features. Wait, no, that's not it at all. I'll play you some examples. I'm Bogdan. Beat the devil out of him. I've got a rather serious sponsorship for today. Did you know two out of three guys will experience some form of male baldness by the time they're 35? The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it before it's too late. Keeps offers scientifically proven treatments that can help combat hair loss 
and you don't have to go broke doing it. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products at an affordable price. You used to have to go to the doctor to get prescribed this kind of medication, but now with Keeps, you can do it all online and have it delivered every three months. Prevention is key and treatments will take four to six months to see results. If you're ready to take action and prevent male pattern hair loss, go to keeps.com slash hacksmith or click on the link below in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash hacksmith. Now I've just got to put all the electronics back in and reassemble it and we'll be good to go. All right, this thing looks awesome. James is gonna be stoked. Hack Elite. This is the Hack Screaming Gun. The most verbally abusive blaster from Hack. Featuring 16 different speech modes for hurling insults on the run. With the Hack Screaming Gun, the fun doesn't stop until you do. The Hack Screaming Gun. Batteries not included. It's Hack or Smithen. All right, so it's been about five days and Charles has finished his project and I'm about to see it for the first time. I'm not too sure what he ended up doing, so I'm super excited to see what it is. Hey, Charles. Merry Christmas, oh James. Oh my God. This looks awesome. This is everything I hoped and dreamed it would be. The screaming gun. <laughs> gonna, gonna put this up on my fridge. All right, this looks freaking awesome. But what does it do? Well, you see, it has all of the things you want. All of them? All of them. This is the power switch. Okay. Now that it's in that mode, it's turned on. It'll make noises when you reload it. Reloading! Shake it. Or shoot it. We have the portal turret. Awesome. Excellent aim. Ow, ow, ow. Cats mode. <laughs> Jesus. I love it when you reload me like that. Oh, that feels amazing. All right, let's see what else there is. Knock, knock. Who's there? Shoot me in the face. Face McShooty. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. I'm sound of the bell. It will be face shooting o'clock. Bong. This is what a ghost sounds like. That's Bogdan! <laughs> You're Bogdan. You're in the gun. <laughs> hey guys, it's the Hacksmith. It's me! <laughs> There's a happy little tree that lives right here. Get to the chopper! Nice. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> There's the one for the box. Say what again? I dare you! Samuel Jackson, just like I asked for. Have fun, Motherf Motherf editor. There's some serious buildings. Does he look like a? F <laughs> My guns. John Wick. This is Wick. John Wick's body falling off a building. <laughs> My name is Rocky Balboa. My favorites. No, 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 no. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. the dogs out. And we're back to the start. All right, that is freaking awesome. You have outdone yourself on this project, sir. Thank you. That's freaking sweet. So what should we do with it now? Well, you see, <gasps> I made You made one. another one. You know what that means. I think there's only one reasonable plan here. 10 paces? 10 paces.
That was a freaking awesome project. That's what it's like working here at Hacksmith Industries. We, we dream up these random freaking ideas, and then we gotta figure out how to actually make them. Wait, James, you can use that. Oh yeah. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe and check out our webpage for our careers page if you're interested in working for us in the future. You'll get to do fun projects just like this. Anyways, thanks for watching. Smash that like button and hit subscribe.